What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today we finally have a mod that a lot of you have been wanting me to do on the car for a while. And I feel like there's two sides to this. There's either one, you guys want me to fully replace the front bumper to look like, you know, the upgraded full 3AS or even the 4AS front bumper. Or to just replace the front grill with the F Sport front grill. And I was thinking about it, I was like, you know what? Do I wanna upgrade the full front to look like either the 3IS or the 4IS? Or do I wanna keep, you know, the 2IS look and just upgrade the front grill? So I decided to actually just upgrade the grill because I really like how the 2IS front looks like. And if I'm being honest, you know, I don't think it's a bad looking front. There's nothing wrong with it. I really like how it looks like. And, you know, I feel like there's not really any need to replace it at this time. You know, don't get me wrong. The 4IS, 3IS front rubber does look really good. I just really like the front on the 2IS. So I feel like I'm going to keep it for at least for now. We are going to upgrade this grill to the new F-Sport front grill. And this one is a genuine Lexus part. No, Lexus. Wine. We are going to upgrade this today. I don't think it should be too difficult. You know, there is a couple of screws or a couple of clips that we will have to take off, but I think it'll really upgrade the full front. So if you guys haven't seen it before, this is essentially how it'll look like. You know, pretty updated, pretty, pretty good. I'm comparing it to the 4IS bumper it is pretty similar. The design itself is pretty similar. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to remove the old one and then we'll go ahead and just so the first thing you want to do is obviously pop open your hood. You're going to take off this clip right here, this 10 millimeter in the middle, and then on the opposite side, it is just another clip. So go ahead and take off those three first. So after you take off this clip, this middle screw, and then the one right here, there are going to be four nuts that you're going to have to take off. One, two at the bottom, so one on this side, one on the bottom side here, and then one in the top corner and one in the top corner here. It's gonna be a little difficult for me to show you guys initially, but once we take out the grill, then I'll show you where those screws will be. But they are gonna be four 10 millimeters. And with the bottom one, it is gonna be a little difficult to, if you don't have like a deep socket or an extension, which I think is pretty helpful. So let's go ahead and take off those and then I'll show you guys how it looks like once we get it off. So what I was reading online is that it is a little easier if you have the 09 to 10 model to take off your bumper, but for me, I feel like it's I'm a little lazy and I don't feel like taking off the bumper to remove the front grill. So I'm going to try to do it without having to remove the front bumper. If you have the 06 to 08, I believe you can do this very easily without removing the bumper. Now that we remove the screws, there are going to be like a good amount of clips that is holding in the actual grill to the bumper. And it's going to be a little difficult, like I said, to show you guys because it is in the back. But once we take those off, then I'll show you guys how it looks like and where it's going to be. But there are going to be about six of the claws holding in the bumper to the grill. Two at the top, so one here, one here, and then there's are going to be four that are going to be holding it in from the bottom. And it's all going to be throughout. So if you do have, you know, a flathead screwdriver or like a clip remover, you might want to use that for it. So now that we got the stock grill off, let me show you guys where those screws and those clips will be. For the screws, it will be right here, right here up at the top. And then the same thing on the other side, it will be there and then right there. They are, like I said, 10 millimeters on each side, so it shouldn't be too bad to get off. And then for the clips, it is gonna be clipped in right here with this silver tab. So you will have to like push this one inwards and then pull. And then same with this side, you know, you're just gonna have to push in and then pull. And then on the bottom, there's are, there are actually six claws that you will have to lift and then pull to take out the grill. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. They are like how they are on the bumper. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then like I said, you know, you should have to do it on the side right there. And the weather shift, you know, you could just use some pliers, lift that up, and then the grill is removed. And then you will just have to remove the grill from the actual like trim. I'm not sure how many there are exactly, but you will just have to go around to make sure everything is off. And then you will have the grill off. Now that we got the old grill 
disassembled from the trim. Just make sure you go all around the whole grill and the trim just so you can make sure that everything is off before you just yank it off. So now what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna see if I can get the old Lexus logo out and then we can transfer it over to the new one. I'm really not trying to buy a new emblem just because I feel like I can use this again, but if you know, all it doesn't work out, then obviously we have no choice. So while my brother tries to take off the Lexus logo on the stock grill, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the new F-Sport grill on the trim. I clean this just right now, just so you know, I can have a clean slate, and this is probably the only time I'm ever gonna take it off. I suggest you guys do so as well, but putting the grill back on is essentially the same as when you took it off. So I'll just time-lapse everything, show you guys how it's done, and then I'll show you guys how it looks like. <laughs> grill back in, let's go ahead and put the new F-Sport grill back on the car. All right, y'all, so now we have the front grill installed. Everything looks good, here it is. Let's go, atta boy. So the difference between this one and the stock one is obviously the vertical lines aren't there anymore. You do have the F-Sport type of look that is on the 4IS. Very, you know, you guys probably seen this a lot, pretty much everywhere, this one, the 4IS and the 3IS. We have a little bit on there with the 2IS front bumper, and I think it looks really good. I don't think I really need the full on grill. I'll look like that, but I think the uniqueness of this is really good. The only thing we don't have is the logo. My brother tried to get the logo off, but unfortunately he was unsuccessful in doing so. So in the next coming weeks, obviously this won't have a front emblem, but we will be running with it. I think it still looks really good even without it. So we'll go ahead and just get a new emblem ordered. But that's about it for the grill install. Actually very easy. It took about, I wanna say less than an hour. So I didn't really- Wiggins! Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, we got the game on. Niners are playing right now, but we're watching the Warriors play. Really easy install. We'll go ahead and just clean up everything. What we're gonna do is we actually got a mod for the Tacoma. This is actually my parents' car. And it's a very, you know, very standard truck, but we do have little mods that are going to make it, you know, unique. And we will do that. I don't know if you guys would want to see that. Let us know in the comment section down below. If you guys want to see content on this car. Oh yeah. Dang, oh yeah. Oh yeah! All right, y'all, so it's been a while. Um, we ended up installing the part and going out a little bit. So let me just show you guys what we've done to the Tacoma. Right, like I said, it's nothing too crazy, but we do have like side steps. Um, the Tacoma that my parents got actually isn't the sport model or the, you know, the upgraded version. So it didn't come with these steps and it didn't come with like the black fenders. Um, it didn't come with little things, but we're going to be doing that stuff and kind of transforming that into a more like off-road rugged type of Tacoma. And this is just, you know, the upgraded thing. I think this was ordered off Amazon from what my dad said. So, you know, just upgraded little things. There are a few things that we are going to do to this truck. Um, so if you guys want to see that or if you guys want to see the trans transformation from how it looks like now to what my dad kind of has in mind let us know in the comment section down below so if you guys want to see it like i said let me know if you guys don't want to see it then obviously let me know as well but i think that'll look really cool it is a different build from you know what i have and from what my brother has i think it'll be a good switch up if you guys want to see it we can make it happen if not it's all good but the grill on the IS does look actually really good. I like the upgrade and I think it does upgrade the front a little more. Maybe in the future we'll upgrade to the new 4IS bumper because I really like the 4IS bumper. Um, I think it gives it a really upgraded look and I think it looks very good on the 2IS. So we'll see what happens and no guarantees, but we'll see. But if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely give this video a big thumbs up. And if you guys aren't already, subscribe to the channel down below. It is Christmas time. We are getting into the Christmas spirit, the Christmas vibe. So you know we have to do something a little different for Christmas. Last year, I did wrap my whole car in Christmas wrap. If you guys didn't see that, I will link that video in the top corner. So if you guys wanna see 
any Christmas related stuff, we actually do have something in mind that I think will be actually pretty sick. Stay tuned for that. But until that happens, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.